Good evening guys. Today I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make a fish cake with um, tuna fish guys. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to make a delicious fish cake with um, tuna fish. So in my bowl here guys, I have two pounds of tuna fish that I went ahead and I have in my bowl here. And what I did, I um, shred one large carrot and two celery stick. I chopped it up very thinly, very finely, and I put it into my dish here. And into my bowl here, I have two small potatoes that I went ahead and I boiled. So I am going to add my potato to my tuna fish here. And these are small potatoes, guys. So I have two small potatoes into my dish here and also into my bowl here guys I have my green seasoning which is um, a combination of basil, um, broadleaf thyme which is Spanish thyme, fine leaf thyme, chili pepper, onion, garlic, celery, scallion. Um, I went ahead and I put it into my blender with a little bit of olive oil and I blended it guys and that, this is exactly what it looked like. So I am going to add two teaspoons of this to my mixture here, to my tuna fish. I am going to go ahead and I am going to add two teaspoons to my mixture. Also to my mixture, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper guys and this is all optional so I'm going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a sprinkle of black pepper and these are all optional depends on how spicy you like your fish cake also I am going to add about a teaspoon of dry fine thyme into my mixture And to my mixture here guys, I am going to go ahead and mix all of this together. Make sure everything is combined and make sure you have clean hands guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my hands because I wanted everything to mix in evenly. And to my mixture here, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add um, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon or vegetable bouillon. One teaspoon of vegetable bouillon. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. And I am going to give this a mix. Make sure everything is combined nicely always make sure to have clean hands when you're doing this so I'm going to go ahead and give my hands some rinse so into my pan here what I'm going to do I am going to flour just a little bit in the bottom of my sheet pan here and I will start making my fish cake. So I'm going to take a little at a time and I'm going to roll it into a nice ball here and then I'll give it a just like that and you can make it as large as you want or as small as you want and there you have it one of my fish cake already made out so I'm going to go ahead and add that to my tray and I will continue to make out my fish cake here and it's about quarter inch thick and this will give you about 
12 or 14 fish cake depends on how big you're making it or just like that you're gonna continue to make your fish cake out so I am going to go ahead and I am going to continue making my fish cake out and I will come back and show you the second step of my fish cake when I start the frying. Okay, so into my pan here, I am going to go ahead and I am going to start frying my um, my fish cake, um, my tuna fish cake. I'm going to start frying my tuna fish cake. So into my pan here, I have um, about a le uh, three quarter cup of oil that I have here, about an inch into the pan. I have here heating up on medium heat and here I have my um, my patties that I went ahead and make, my fish patties here. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to start frying this. So my oil is heating up pretty nicely there. As soon as my oil is ready, I am going to go ahead and I am going to show you how to start frying that. And you want your oil to be on medium heat. You don't want it to be on high heat because you want it to make sure that your patties is cooking um, slowly so it will fully cook guys, okay? So don't put your oil on high heat. Always put it on medium heat guys, all right? So I'm waiting on this to heat up um, properly and then I'll go ahead and I will show you. Okay, so my oil is heating up there nicely. So what I'm going to do I am going to go ahead and I am going to start lightly flour my fi um, fish cake here and be very gentle when you do this part guys. What you will do guys, you will actually rest your um, plate just like that and you're going to lightly flour it and you're going to try to dust as much flour off guys, just like that. You're going to go ahead and you're going to lightly flour your fish cake. And you're going to shake it out to make sure all the extra flour is off. Just like that guys. And you're going to shake it off. Make sure you get all the excess flour off. That's how it's going to be. So I'm going to continue to dredge this with the flour until I'm waiting for my oil to properly heat it. Just like that. And this is going to be a delicious, delicious fish cake. If you never try fish cake with tuna fish, please do. Try it and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. But this is absolutely delicious. Um, fish cake or fish patties, guys. You can go ahead and make it with any type of fish you like. All your choice. Okay, so my oil is pretty hot there. Okay, so my oil is at the temperature where I want it to be, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to gently lay these fish cakes into my pan. You want to be gentle with these guys. And you do not want to turn these until you see the bottom started to get golden brown. Just leave them alone guys and let them fry. You will know when it's time to turn. You will see that the bottom and the round will start to get golden brown. And you don't want to crowd your pan neither, you want to give it space. So at this point you're not gonna you're not gonna do anything here guys, you're gonna let it cook until it's ready to turn. I am not even going to try to move that. I'm going to let that cook until it's golden brown and then I'll go ahead and I'll give it a flip guys. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, so my fish cake is cooking up nicely here. So right now it's, um, I am going to show you closer what it looks like. So there you have it. It's golden brown. So I know it's time to turn these. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to gently turn these 
So bear with me. You want to be very gentle with it because you don't want it to break apart. Okay, look, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. That's exactly what you wanted to see. So I'm going to let that continue to cook on medium heat. I want it to cook slowly, guys. I don't want to rush it. So I'm going to let that continue to cook. And I'm not really going to mess with it. I'm going to give it its time to fully cook. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on it and I'm just going to gently turn it, move them around so all of it cook evenly and I'm going to let that continue cooking for another two minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on it. It's cooking up nicely here. I'm going to give it like another couple seconds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to gently remove these from my pan. I'm going to let these cook for a couple minutes more. And I just want to show you the tuna fish that I use, guys. This is the tuna fish that I use. And it's non-GMO, organic tuna fish. And it's um, wild caught. And that's the tuna fish that I use to make my tuna um, fish cake, okay? So there you have it, guys. And I will list everything into the description in details so you can know exactly how many cans I use. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give these about half a second more. Before I remove them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to remove my fish cake. And that's my first batch of fish cake. There you have it. Look how delicious and beautiful this is. There is my first batch of fish cake. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add another batch into my pan very gently. Just like that. And this is a very large pan that I'm frying in. This is a 14 inch frying pan that I'm frying in. So I'm going to go ahead and let that continue to cook until it's golden brown. And look how nicely this is frying up. This is exactly what you wanted to see. We're frying up nicely there. So I'm going to give that side a couple, like about a minute more until I go ahead and flip it. Look at that. Just look at that. Look how delicious and beautiful this is.
Okay, I am going to go ahead and check on my fish cake to see if it's ready to turn. And it is ready to turn, so I'm going to gently try to turn this. You want to be very gentle when you're turning these so they don't fall apart. Okay, just like that. And I am going to give that side to cook for about two minutes until it's golden brown and I do have other videos on my channel which I have, uh, which I have made fish cake before but I make it with salt fish and um, I made it with butter fish you could make fish cake with any type of fish you like and um, you could use any type of fish you like okay today I am using my tuna fish Please go ahead and check out my other video, which I will link to this video uh, with my fish cake that I'm going to head and make with salt fish, guys. Okay? So my fish cake is cooking up nicely here. I'm going to let this cook for about another minute or so before I remove it from the stove. going to go ahead and remove the fish cake from my pan. They're completely finished. I'm going to let these cook for another half a second, half a minute. ahead and remove that. Okay, so I removed all my fish cake from my pan here. And there you have it guys. My beautiful tuna fish cake. There you have it. If you like this video guys, Kindly go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. I thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so very much. For all who have liked and shared my video, I thank you so very much. On the right hand corner of my screen, there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that. And you will be getting a notification every time I uploaded a new video. And um, guys, um, kindly share my video with all your friends, co-worker family members, social media, so I could go um, continue to bring you more delicious meal like this, guys. And thank you guys so very much for all of your support. There you have it, guys. My tuna fish cake. I will list everything into the description screen, guys, what it takes to make this tuna fish. Tuna fish cake. I will list everything in detail into my description screen. I thank you so very much. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.